now it's time to see what's coming out today for our media partner, the Baltimore Banner. Well, we've been reporting on this for a couple of days. Victims of sexual misconduct by a UMBC swim coach. They now could be entitled to up to $180,000 as part of a Maryland Board of Public Works settlement that was approved yesterday. Reporters Brenna Smith and Kristen Griffith reported on the settlement, and Brenna joins us now to tell us more. Good morning, Brenna. Hi, how are you all? We're doing well. So first, tell us more about the investigation that led to the settlement. Yeah, so um, last month there was a blockbuster Title IX investigation that came out. And essentially what it found was that uh, the former swim coach, Chad Craddock, had been complicit in um, multiple acts of sexual assault as well as essentially disregarding many female experience many female swimmers experiences of dating violence and sexual harassment um, from other male swimmers on the team and you know i think that the reason this was such a shock among the horrible acts that were committed and found in the title IX investigation was that this is actually the second time umbc has had a big scandal around title IX, and they are how they were supposed to have reformed the university's policies significantly yeah and this of course the doj also investigated the university and found that they simply didn't investigate these claims the way they should have which just must have been horrible for these victims at the time so now they're getting a settlement what are they saying about it do they feel this is enough uh, no, actually, there was quite a bit of controversy yesterday. And so on behalf of six victims, there was um, legal counsel that had submitted to testify at the Maryland Board of Public Works hearing, and um, they weren't able to testify or they weren't called up to testify, mm -hmm. which was something that was pretty upsetting for them, considering that they wanted to be able to have victims' voices heard in that setting, mostly because they also feel that the settlement amount of $4.1 million is something that um, one of their co-counsels told me that quote is outrageously low. It seems low. Right. And what's been the university's response to all of this, or has there been a response? The university has been responding. Um, the UMBC's president what, did testify at yesterday's meeting. Um, it does seem that they are taking accountability. It does seem like they are trying to um, be honest and, and, and take actions going forward. But that being said, there does still seem to be a lot of controversy because this is the second time this is happening. There's also pending litigation occurring where there is also controversy among people pursuing litigation against UMBC about how transparent they're being with, you know, allowing records to show internal investigations and sharing information like that. So it still remains to be seen how, you know, the cards fall with that. The actual abuse, I guess, took place under a previous president, not the president, the current president. Correct, of correct, correct. But she has right. to handle so, this, and this is a real tarnish for their image. Right. The current president came in when the Title IX investigation was coming underway, and she seemed to have gone under great lengths to be able to ensure that it was able to um, be done. All right. Well, thank you, Brenda, for joining us. And if you'd like to learn more about this story or others from the Baltimore Banner, just head to thebaltimorebanner.com.